Hi, uh, my name is Johan. Um, I'm with Parsec Labs. Parsec Labs is a small research team. We uh, focus on uh, Plasma and how to run smart contracts on Plasma. And uh, yeah, I've been giving a workshop today here at uh, DevCon um, to kind of uh, explain uh, fraud proofs and Merkle trees and all this kind of thing. I think more developers uh, should use it because it's a nice design concept and used in Plasma a lot. Plasma is first of all a scaling technology. So, you know, you can make the Ethereum network faster by building uh, sharding into it, by doing Casper, or you can run a side chain where you do all your stuff. Uh, but you can also, you know, use the security of the Ethereum main network to extend it to kind of your application. And that's, that is uh, layer two scaling solutions like uh, Lightning, uh, not Lightning, State Channel and Plasma and Plasma Cache. So Plasma uh, works in a way that there is an operator or a set of operators and they just collect all your transactions that you have. It can be many thousand per second and they Merkle, they Merkleize them together. So they hash them together and just submit 32 bytes, the Merkle root into the Ethereum chain. And then uh, there is a specific setup in the smart contract on Ethereum that makes sure that this chain is always kept clean and that the operators don't do any mistakes with the transactions. If they do, it's very easy to submit a transaction and prove them wrong, and then they will lose their deposit and uh, you will still keep your money. When the Plasma paper was described uh, last year, it seemed like you can build like one big plasma chain that does um, that kind of satisfies the needs for all and i think that has changed a lot uh, specifically because no one has taken the task to like implement this plasma chain and then carl and uh, vitalik they started the plasma implementers call in january um, to kind of research and to make a smaller version of that. So MVP, Minimal Viable Plasma, was proposed, which takes away all the chains of chains hierarchy and just tries to implement the smallest possible thing. And that is actually very close. I mean, we can touch that in the way that you can go to the Obisa Go repository, you can deploy a bunch of contracts and start their node, and you have a Plasma chain that is working and running. Um, there is still research going on on, you know, some grieving attacks that can happen. So, for example, when a transaction is in flight, so it hasn't been mined in the Plasma block yet, but just sent, and then the operator starts withholding, it's called a limbo transaction, then it's not clear who should receive the money, the sender or the recipient. It's not as simple as on the main network, right? Um, and these areas are still in research. But if you don't have such specific requirements, you just want a chain where you can send a million of transactions, I think we, this is ready. Everyone can go and either use a Plasma implementation from the few projects that have good ones and use it for themselves, it's all open source, and build it into their dApp. Or you can wait until maybe there's projects that try to create like a common good Plasma chain, which means everyone can come to their Plasma chain, not only one exchange or something like that, and deploy contracts or send transactions. And with Parsec Labs, we're trying to do something like that for smart contracts. So we want to create a, a public good plasma chain everyone can come to, deploy their smart contract and run their application much cheaper than on the Ethereum main network. Answer the question, how far is this away? I think, as I said, like the simple plasma, um, just using it for one application, is really, you know, you can touch it and you can implement an app right now. If you want to start a business, it's a good time now. And you can have it up in two or three months. Uh, if you want to have like very specific edge cases covered and public good infrastructure, maybe half a year, but I think it's much closer than mo most people think. I think um, um, Joseph Poon is the, is the inventor because he collected a lot of um, experience with state channels when he was building them for Lightning, right? And uh, Plasma is kind of the natural evolution of that concept. Uh, with state channels, you are limited in the way that uh, you need to know all the participants from the beginning on that are on the state channel. So if I can open a state channel with like 10 guys or something like that, or one to one, but I need to know who these guys are because everyone needs to agree to continue the state of the state channel. Uh, with Plasma, um, you make a different trade-off. It's kind of like a state channel as well, but you don't need to know all the participants from the beginning on. Uh, you can send uh, cash or you can send uh, funds on a Plasma chain to someone 
who never touched Ethereum or the Plasma chain before. They only need to have a private key, right? But the trade-off is that the block hashes need to be submitted into the main network regularly, even while the um, Plasma chain maybe is not sent or is ongoing. And that is so you can make proofs about what's happening in this specific uh, plasma chain. Yeah, not for closing, but if you uh, want to prove a double spend or you want to prove that you are the right guy to exit this money, uh, then you need this block route because the proof is based on that, right? It says like, I prove that this transaction is included in the chain and I prove that this transaction should pick points to another transaction and only then you can exit. And so um, it's, it, it, it serves other use cases than a state channel. It has a little bit less of these finality assumptions, but um, it trades that for the ability to be able to have an undefined set of participants. Um, but in its nature, they are both very similar in the way that um, you need to watch them and if the other parties um, do something wrong, for example, in Lightning, you can cancel out the channel with a previous state trying to steal money from the other guy in the Lightning channel. And uh, the other guy that needs to prove that there is a later state. If I try to exit a transaction and I've been spending that transaction already, some other guy can challenge me and say like, no. And um, yeah, they are similar in nature with different uh, trade-offs, I would say. Plasma doesn't necessarily need a consensus because there is uh, crypto economic incentives for the valid, for the operator to not make any mistakes. Um, and um, that is good because you can run like a huge chain and uh, just do it on one computer and stuff like that. You don't need to trust it at all because it's kind of protected by the Ethereum miners, right? Um, so you don't need to run it with a consensus algorithm at all, but you can if you have if you want to have additional security for example, in terms of data availability.